Okay, good afternoon, everybody. It is, uh, I believe, the uh, 20 something of. That's <laughs> no, it's, uh, um, I believe it's the 22nd of March 2021. And I'm going to have an afternoon update of the news. Looks like the world news is up. And, uh, yeah, I didn't have much time. I just got off work. I really apologize for the late broadcast. Um, but let's dive right into it from a Utah regular person sort of view, I guess. Ah, this is not a crisis. Democrat congressman releases photos of migrants in pens similar to cages as Biden administration limits access. Yeah, this <laughs> is... Okay, so, yeah, it's it's not a crisis, guys. Not a crisis down there. Let's just make sure we all get this straight. It is not a crisis on the southern border. If it was a crisis, Joe Biden would have his first real conference and he would tell us it's an actual crisis. I'm pretty pretty sure of that. And not fake news at all. I'm not, I'm not going to any fake news. Let's go to the... Uh, uh, I don't even know if I want to even read this. Uh so the photos of crowded migrant holding center in Texas released by Democratic congressman. Where's the rest of the people? Anybody wonder that, you know? So, I mean, you, you want to, you know, the, okay, just, just leaving it out there, not going to cause any rifts. I don't want to cause rifts with anybody. I just want everybody to understand what's going on here. Okay, let's go to, uh, yeah, there's a photo. He released some photos. Oh, look, they're in there. They're like tents, plexiglass. Oh, it's, it's just cute. They're all just piled in there. Just, just literally piled in there with a, with foil paper for blankets, but it's not a crisis. Okay, here at Forty Five News Utah, we don't we don't bring up crises that are actually real. We we like to bring up other stuff. Okay, let's move on. Well, they got the ad right there. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. Um, now another picture. Okay, so that's really cool. Uh, we know they're lying. Just saying. Yeah, there's good, real good possibility. Probably some misinformation there, or just basically, you know, covering one side of it. Let's just uh, decide that this is what we're going to do. We're going to send this guy down there. He's going to release in a free media society. He's going to release the information for you to understand it. Wasn't well, that so nice of him? Because everybody else has been told they can't get near the centers, let alone the border. Yeah, I mean, that's just the, the facts. I'm not, that's, you know, I could do a CNN for you. Well, it looks like the uh, Democratic... Uh, Congressman has released some photos for the public, so now we all know. On to the next news. No, oh, it's just, it's just, yeah. You never, never, never think that free media and free access press is is not a a First Amendment right in America. So anyway, on to something else. Uh, so it looks like Trump on how China U.S. foes feel about Dr. Seuss's controversy. This is what we're reduced to, people. This is it. Now Orange Man Bad's gone. This is boring. Okay. Uh, oh, the royal family. Uh, 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 just sinking in my chair. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nope. Not going to go there. Um, not going anywhere, said Como. The rapist. <laughs> I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Here at 45 News, Utah, I have the right to express my opinion and use things as fair use acts. And remember, everything I state is not actually true, like Alex Jones. I am an actor. Okay, come on, then. Yes, the problems. Anyway, on to, uh, yeah, exclusive. Trump calls out ridiculous softball media coverage of Biden. It's a joke. Why? I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Dum 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 dum, MSN, pundits. Condemns Miami Beach pictures, but inter internet uh, reveals, I, you know, it's a big error on the picture. So this just layman terms. Layman terms, they, they took a big picture of the spring breakers, whatever, um, uh, at Miami Beach. And it was apparently error. There was an error revealed. You know, I, I just can't click on it. I, I keep going, just going over and I, I just can't. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. If I'm going to be an actual newscast, I need to learn to do these things. Be like Ron Burgundy. Yes. Okay. I'd be more like, yeah, yeah, talking like Ron Burgundy, actually. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, nothing great. Biden uh, looks like Jen Pazaki dodges questions about whether Biden saw a doctor after fall. I do not condemn abuse of the elderly. I'm telling you. 
you need to just understand the elderly shouldn't be put in positions that they have to be abused, and he's being abused. Okay, on to the next story. San Diego, uh, no, no, San Diego, San Diego father took his, his kid inside the elephant enclosure. <sighs> okay, let's just, you know. Um, I guess Fox reporter's misleading uh, framing of Georgia police spokesman shows up in Chinese propaganda outlet. You know, the way they word this, when I say, so this guy that's a police officer said something really kind of stupid and, uh, you know, blown out of proportion and uh, to do with that crazy uh, murderer that was back east that shot up all those massage parlors and he's still a dirtbag and doesn't matter what you say, he's still going to be a dirtbag and a scumball deserves probably the electric chair, but, you know, in today's society, maybe they just need to counsel him. I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not saying way it this way or that way, honestly. Uh, Democrats looking at a way to, again, bypass Republican votes on a series of legislative actions, which is probably going to be the filibuster. And, uh, yeah, they're going to, they're going to try to bypass the Republicans on, on a, remember, we, the best thing about the American system is a, at least two-party system which we should probably have three. So these people, you know, whoever wins a house is mob rule. You know, 51% rules over the 49%. You know, it's basically, uh, uh, you know, whoever's at the top, everybody fights at the top, and then he's too paranoid, so they're fighting each other, and then he falls off, and then the next guy gets up there, and it's like, I'm the king of the hill. It's just madness. It's madness. I mean, party lines should never be this distinct and this insane. We have extremists. You know, people need to work together because we actually sent them to, to, to office. I mean, whether or not everybody knows this, we sent them there to, to work for us. Kind of a crazy concept, guys. But, you know, we haven't heard any of that. Just basically insanity is all we've heard. And which I did hear a great quote, quote last night on the show Platoon, which was uh, sanity is 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 uh, just, how would they explain it? I'll get back to you on that. It's something to do with like, Oh yeah, sanity is the is the inability to to achieve uh, something. I think it's to to achieve. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I have to get back. You know, I'm sorry. I'm having. I just got off work. I'm really excited. Good day. Headache all day long. Got to go to Delta. No, I got to go to actually. I got to go to Ogden and uh, work for three two days and a night. So I won't be able to do any newscasts for the next few nights. Sorry, guys. I know this is what you live for every day of your life. So, uh, I'll be, there will be no, uh, tw uh, let's see, I'll, I'll probably say no Western uh, States Media or 45 News Utah for the next two days. So, Tuesday or Wednesday because of that. I'm getting sent out of town, guys, right at the perfect time of starting a, a news company. Anyway, back to the news. Police uh, say fugitive pointed gun at deputy choked. And bit K9. Okay, so the guy bit the, the dog. That's, well, that's America. Man accused of stabbing 12 year old boy in McDonald's allegedly hurled racist slurs, complaints say. He's. We're not going to eat it. Uh, Indiana fisherman breaks state record with massive catch. Low dose aspirin cuts severe. Coronavirus risk study suggests that's something you got to pay attention to. So low dose aspirin cuts the se severe coronavirus risk. So let's let's click on that. That's that's actually something that's worth noting. The news is we're actually the news. Um, low dose aspirin could help coronavirus patients off of a ventilator. They're saying okay, decrease their chances of requiring. Admission to intensive care units and lower the risk of in-hospital deaths, according to the findings of a new study. So this says it, it could get patients off the ventilator. And it, 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 yeah, it could stop people having to go to the hospital with coronavirus. This is, this is huge, huge. Spread the word. Um, it's on Fox News. You want to check it out. It looks like they uh, tested 400 patients and uh, it, it worked. It worked. Oh wait! For the studies, the team team looked at medical records for for of uh, more than four hundred patients who were admitted to GW Hospital, or that is the University of Maryland Medical Center, Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center on North 
Northeastern Georgia Health System between March, why did they have to go into all that, March and July 2020. Some of the patients, about 24%, received an aspirin within the day, the first day of their admit, ad, admission to one of the hospitals or had taken in the seven days before they were admitted. About 76% did not take aspirins in the study. And it looks like after adjusting this for several factors, the team found that aspirin was associated with 44% decreased risk of ventilation. It's 2020, guys. And 43% decreased risk of ICU. Am I am I wrong? Did I and a 47% reduction of hospital in, in hospital in hospital mortality? Well just Whoa. So this was from uh March to July 2020. It's 2021. I see no issues with this, and I'm not going to comment further because we need to know the news. And this is why we need a newscast that would actually look into this type of stuff. Because you know what? A baby aspirin, per the study, this study was done, 40-something percent, uh, no ICU admission, ventilators, or death. So let's just put this in perspective. Just, just to give everybody a little minute why we need a news network that's actually going to produce news and look for facts and find studies and do things like that on a 24-hour day, seven-day-a-week basis so you can actually hear the facts and maybe change people's opinions and people start saying, hey, wait a minute, this study should have been out. We should have found this out in October, November, December. How many people we lost since, uh, you know, this time last year? They're saying 47% of the people, of the 400 people, that had received a baby's aspirin prior or during their admission didn't suffer anything like that. They, they didn't die. They didn't have uh, to be on a ventilator, you know. This is what news is about. And this is why I get so upset because you don't hear about this stuff. You start getting COVID, take a baby aspirin. Just, just an idea. Just let's do this, okay. You feel like you get sick, start taking a baby aspirin. One a day. 50 milligram, low dose, boom. If, that, if this is saying that's right, their study's right, hey, wait a minute, we just found something to help cure COVID. Not to mention a pill. But we won't get into that because they got to sell the shot, which I can get kicked off YouTube for saying that. But the shot still buffers the effects of it. And love everybody a long time, but, you know. Okay, so we're off uh, Fox News. Let's go to, uh, really, you know, that was that was fantastic. We should save that in your, in your notes. Baby aspirin will stop the deadliness of COVID-19. Oh, I don't want to do this. Don't make me, I have to go to CNN. Oh, this hurts. My head hurts so bad. Oh, see, and, and, oh, this should be legal. Oh, it just went with Fox. See, and, and, oh, I just need a network. Just saying. Okay, CNN. I got a phone call coming in. So hold on one second. Let me decline this phone call. Sorry, that's what happens when you're doing a video and it's your cell phone. Okay, police handcuff shooting victim's husband. I guess uh, this is at a massage parlor. Part at the massage parlor, the police handcuffed the shooting at one of the shooting victims' husbands. <coughs> I don't know if that's news or not. Okay, survivor describes harrowing details on his massage masseuse of his masseuse being shot while he was getting massage. That's just, no, that's just, that's wrong, dude, that's just wrong, okay. Next batch, batch of stimulus payments going out this week. So apparently that's going to be the checks or whatever, you know, direct deposit. Um, we keep seeing the same scenes at the border. We are two big reasons, there, here are two big reasons why. Um... Behind closed doors at the U.S. Border Patrol facility in Texas, they talk about that. You know, I really, they have another uh, San Diego Convention Center to be used to house migrant children. Border Patrol has detained more <clears throat> unaccompanied minors in March than of all of February. Preliminary data shows. You know, that's probably a lot bigger than what's actually happening down there. I think it's it's huge because there's no media blackout on, blackout on something like this unless it's, it's bigger than what 
is being reported, which we pretty much figured that. You guys like my chair? It's a little shorter, a little more comfortable. I can kind of sit here. It feels great just looking in the camera. Anyway, uh, Boulder Police warn of active shooter at supermarket. White House aid prep three trillion jobs package for Biden. Why? What White House advisors are expected this is jumping down again. Expected to present a two part three trillion dollar job three trillion jobs and infrastructure proposal. So they're saying they're gonna take three trillion dollars. It's three trillion with the dollar sign in front of three. An infrastructure proposal to President Joe Biden as soon as this week, according to the two people familiar with his plan. The proposal which Biden, Biden's top administrator has been deliberating over four weeks would be segmented into two separate parts. One focused on infrastructure and clean energy and a second focused on what's being termed the care economy, which is focused, it's focused zeroed in on the key domestic economic issues. In full, it would mark the sweeping move towards enacting the key elements of the jobs agenda that Biden laid out in large part during his campaign for president with suit and potential tax increases okay, on corporations and the wealthy as options to finance any large-term spending in this final proposal. It's another, it's another proposal. It's another $3 trillion. I, I can't even I can't even fathom this. One point nine trillion dollars of funny money, funny money, funny money, funny, 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 funny money, debt dollar, debt dollar, debt dollar, debt. That's all's happened. Dude, I'd be just jury duty, jury duty, foreclosure, foreclosure, foreclosure. There the one point nine trillion dollars was a complete travesty of of fiat currency that doesn't exist. We lost over five hundred thousand Americans. The Social Security from those 500,000 Americans is going to help pay for stuff because they're not paid. They paid into Social Security, but now they don't get paid out. So they're saving a little bit of money there. But there was a $1 trillion CARES package, or uh, the HEROES package. Not a HEROES package. So just to, to catch us all up on this, this is a $3 trillion jobs infrastructure proposal by Joe Biden, which is clean air or clean energy infrastructure. I, I, you can't, you can't, you, let, let me ex explain something. Okay. So when an economy is running, you don't have to borrow dollars to keep it running. So if you're, if you're putting 3 trillion plus $1.9 trillion in the economy, just to keep it moving, something's wrong. The reason why Home Depot's price on lumber goes up is because the, the, the dollar value is dropping. It, it's going completely down and, and the inflation's going up. So you go buy a two by four that's now nine dollars, guys. That's the reason why this is happening. It's why the housing market's through the roof. Inflationary, do, the dollars in 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 a complete inflationary up swing. It's just it's inflation's going up and the dollars going down. Um, this will never change. Remember, your bank for your buck is your your income, your job, what you produce, and how much money you bring in. And now every time these idiots sign another proposal, they're actually putting. The dollar worth less, which helps in the long run. Don't get me wrong. You know what it helps? It helps the value, how much they owe with the national debt. So if you owed, say, you know, reality, 32 trillion, possibly 40 trillion dollars now, no, these these guys, um, if you owe 40 trillion dollars in the old value of the dollar, that's bad. Because it make that that much dollar value. Now the dollar is gonna get just just pummeled. I mean, pummeled into the ground. So it's worthless. So it's like the Mexican peso, half it's worth 50 cents. So what do you do to the national debt? Oh, well, it's huge back, you know, before the pandemic. That was a lot of money. After this pandemic spending and this massive fiat lie, digital forever payment, they just crashed the dollar down to 50% of its value. That's why the $15 an hour minimum wage is coming about. Nobody really understood what was happening. Inflation is hitting because they're, they're pulling. This is... So anyway, my videos just in about 20 minutes. I don't want to go too much over 20 minutes. I can go 30 actually. I mean, it's up to you guys. But but real but think about it. Three trillion dollar jobs bill he's gonna fund through corporate taxes and tax on the rich. You know, I, I don't know. 
maybe he can pull three trillion. What we done or what we have done already is raising the, the or lowering the value of the dollar. The buying power, inflationary power of the dollar is going down. And it, it's it, it's just it's not gonna be worth anything the way they're going. It's just gonna keep spiraling into to a, a currency that's worth half what it was. Thus the debt isn't quite worth half as much. And that's the logic they're thinking. We just spend our way out of this. We crash the dollar's value. So it's not the dominant currency, you know, and it's worth half as much. So now it's two dollars for every one Canadian. Well, thus, you know, Canada could take their half their money, borrow us the debt, you know, half what we owe, and then we just change it for dollars and say, Oh, here you go. I owed you a dollar yesterday, but now it's fifty cents because money ain't worth as much. Now I borrowed from my buddy over here and his dollars are actually worth a dollar. That's kind of how that works. Believe me, it's a great plan. It's a fan. it's better than the Amero, but it's still you know, eh, you know I don't know. That's the only I'm I'm just t I'm just saying spending your way out of the debt by crashing the dollar's value by overinflation by inflating it is better than having to have like we're in Venezuela and having to have a shopping cart full of dollars to buy a roll of toilet paper. So that's what was happening in Venezuela while all of us are having a good time up here. We crashed their economy. We actually helped do that through sanctions. So, I mean, this might be a better deal. Okay, as far as the rest of the news, um, I really don't see, you know, I've been looking honestly. I was hit the, Once I hit the aspirin thing and the, you know, the COVID deal and the debt dollar garbage, I just, just and a $3 trillion thing. Um, I'll, I'll get back to you later tonight with uh, the rest of this uh, uh, news for the evening and uh, appreciate you guys thank you very much for watching uh, if I offend anybody I'm sorry but not really you guys are great you got to have news from a different angle and I really hope you guys will uh, engage with me you know share like do the YouTube thing do the Facebook thing you're awesome have a great night I'll talk to you in a couple hours if I find the stop button